we are back with a breezy walker pup date. These guys are three weeks old and are so stinking cute. Uh, they are playing and pouncing and very, very active. It's such a fun stage. I love watching them play. Um, but it is also still fairly short-lived at this point because they are um, easily tired out and not everybody plays at the same time. As, as you can see, we got a couple sleepy, sleepy guys here. Oh yes, so playful. Um, but today is three weeks old, so we have lots to do with these little guys. Um, our last video, we did an update on their eyes opening, and now look how open they are. If you'll hold still for just one second, Blast. Can you see how open her eyes are? Oh yeah, absolutely. Completely open. And like I said, super, super active. Um, but today we are going to weigh these little guys. We are going to trim their little nails and we are going to start trying puppy mush with them. We have been weighing, shh, just kidding. Um, we have been weighing these guys every day very diligently because we needed to see weight gain. We were struggling with a couple of the puppies just because 10 puppies is a big litter and that's a lot for mama to keep up with and everybody was not gaining as well as we would like. So we had been on supplement schedule with bottle feeding for quite a while with these guys. And so the sooner that we can start them on puppy mush, which will be very, very liquidy at this stage, um, the easier that's gonna be on everybody in this situation. So I'm gonna start <laughs> by getting puppy weights. So I've got my puppy scale, I've got my puppy sheet, which like I said, we've been weighing daily. I've got lots of notes here. Um, and this ends up getting these sheets a little more wear and tear than they normally get. I could have easily uh, switched and gone with cardstock. So FYI for myself for next time, make sure that I've got cardstock on hand before I print my puppy sheets. So let me find Hail. Here you are, big guy. Let me get a weight on you. We are going to um, move to weighing in pounds because that is a huge difference in um, the grams because I've been weighing in grams because um, that allows me to get the most accurate weight. It's the smallest increments. And now I can weigh in pounds. 2.38 pounds. Good job, buddy. Good job. So I'm going to make my notes. And I'm gonna move through the, and look, they're already, wait, they've already worn themselves out. Okay, blast. 2.38 pounds again, very consistent so far. That's awesome. So 2.38 pounds. And I'm just gonna try and go in order to keep myself straight um, so I don't miss anybody. Okay, Zephyr, this little guy, we have been working so diligently on getting him up and he is 1.79 pounds. That is awesome. Um, he is doing a great, great job gaining weight. We've been working hard at it. He also feels like he's got a pretty full belly right now. Um, so uh, we did some supplementing still this morning. And so he probably won't eat as much of the puppy mush when we offer it this time, just because he's kind of full and sleepy, which is fine. But I'm hoping that over the next few days, he takes to trying that puppy mush and then we won't have to do that supplementing. Um, but that's just something I'm gonna have to evaluate. Where is Cyclone? Here you are, Cyclone, you seem sleepy. Wake back up for a second, bud. 2.8 pounds. Big guy. Thunder. Spinning spinning wheelies. Okay, draft. Come here, draft. Oh, good job, buddy. 2.46 pounds. Getting big. Okay, we've got Gust. Here you are. 2.33 pounds. I picked him up and he's like, I could eat. 
Uh, that's something that we see happen with these guys when they've been supplemented a lot, that every time they get picked up, they think that it's time to eat. And so transitioning to this puppy mush is going to be very helpful with that too, where we're not having to supplement them um, and bottle feed them in a sense that they think every time we pick them up, they're gonna get a bottle plugged in their mouth. Um, we do spend time doing their biosensor training. Come here, Flurry. As well as um, just cuddling and loving on them without bottle feeding so that they don't think that humans mean dinner all the time. So, Flurry girl. 2.82 pounds, you're giant. So far, I think she's been the biggest. Okay, Twister. Where are you, Twister? Oh, right here, come here. Come on, little girl. And she's like, I, oh, oh, oh. Good girl, thank you, little pupper. I you got to say, here. Oh. Well, I haven't um, started clicker training yet, so I didn't need to introduce my cue quite yet. 2.46 pounds. And then we've got Tornado and Windy. Shoot, yeah, you're, you're Mr. Troublemaker, come here. Being Mr. Spunky with everybody. 2.51 pounds. And then last but not least, my windy girl. Where are you? Over there. Come here. You, come here. Yes, come on. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. 2.58 pounds. Nice. So really good weight gain. Feeling their body condition when I'm picking them up is awesome. What did I say? Two point five eight. That's what I thought. Okay. Two point five eight pounds. Perfect. So these guys are starting to settle down a little bit. Well, some of them. Uh, so I'm going to hop in and get their nails trimmed now because that would be a good time to do it when they're calm. So I got my little booties on and my scrubs. I got to find a spot, guys. I gotta find a spot. You're taking up more room in this whelping box now, aren't you? Yes. Snuggle over, guys. Yep, make make room. Okay. Still using pup, um, just people nail trimmers for their nails. Uh, we will evaluate, but next week we may need to move to actual dog nail trimmers. Okay, so this will be the real test, not to miss anybody. I'm gonna try and go in some of an, some kind of an order, but I also kind of want to work with the sleepy ones. So we'll go with Zephyr first, my littlest guy. So with puppy nail trims, he's like, oh, I, I could eat again. Um, again, we're just taking the tips of those nails off where it catches. There's absolutely no shaping being done with puppy nails at this point. Just the tips. There we go. And your back ones, buddy. So you guys do the math. I've got 10 puppies. I've got 16 nails a puppy. So how many thing, little toenails am I trimming? Is that... Uh, 26. No, that's adding 10 times 16 would be what, 160? Do I need another zero? I don't know. Math. Okay, Zephyr is done. Put it in the comments. I can't do math. 160. 160, good. Okay, so Zephyr is done. You're not sleepy yet, but hail. Yeah, Hale, you're sleepy. Um, it's kind of cool too. Look at the color changes and difference in these puppies. They're getting so much darker um, from day one to day to week three already. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all trimmed up. You can watch these little cuties 
snuggle and play a little bit. And then once I get them all done, we'll come back to getting their puppy mush ready and show you what that looks like. There you have it, 160 puppy toes, nails, trim. So I'm going to trim the toes. I know, just their nails. We got a little dreamy guy going over here. He was dreaming just a second ago. He said, there I am. Dream, dream. Wonder what he's dreaming about. Put it in the comments below if you think you know. So I'm going to hop out of the box and get some puppy mush made up and see if I can wake these little sleepy guys up again. So follow me. And we're here ready to make some puppy mush. I have one scooper full, whatever this is, Max says, of <laughs> my- <laughs> Real accurate measurements there. It's two cups, okay? Two cups of dry kibble. Um, of my Yukonuba large breed puppy food. I'm going to blend this to a very fine powder. I actually had to upgrade my blender cup from the last video series we did because it broke. My cheapo Hamilton Beach one from Walmart couldn't hold up um, and I was tired of replacing them every litter. So I'm like, we're gonna try this magic bullet, see how it does. If not, I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and maybe get a ninja, so. Oh goodness, now it's not working. Am I unplugged? Ah! <laughs> I'm unplugged. <laughs> Let's try this again. Find my cord here. <sighs> Technical difficulties and all. about died. <laughs> so it's working. Let's get the rest of it just blended up. Whew. Shake it around a little bit more. So much more powerful than the other one. This is a very scientific, well thought out method of blending this up to a fine powder. As you can see, there's a specific shaking and tilting method. Um, years of practice and you'll get it figured out. So I get my puppy powder out here. There will probably be, well, there may be a whole kibble in here. We'll see. I've got my fork. Yep, here's just gonna get those out of there. We definitely don't want little puppies choking on a big piece of kibble on their first opportunity on puppy mush. Or their second or third. Or well, fourth. anytime, right. But this is these guys' first time. So um, I'll feel it a little bit. It's another big piece. But you can easily feel the bigger pieces when it's this fine powder like that. Okay, I think, I think I've got most of them out. Um, like I said, though, this is their first time there. Um, we usually start this process at about three and a half weeks old, maybe even four weeks old. But with a big litter like this, we're really trying to get them everything that they need sooner rather than later. Um, so I want to make sure that when I get this done, this is a very soupy, almost completely liquidy consistency. So that's why people say, well, how much food do you blend up and how much liquid do you add? Well, it's a constantly evolving process and it depends on what your puppies need and where they're at in their development. So it depends, um, which is part of knowing when to change things. Um, so I've got very warm water here so that it'll help mix up my puppy milk replacer. Uh, that's about 12 ounces of water. I don't even know if I'll use that all. It just depends as I start mixing it in what I need. Um, now I'm not gonna make this an exact ratio of eight ounces of puppy milk replacer to, or it would be six, math again, six ounces of puppy milk replacer to 
12 ounces of water. That's the proportion that you need when you're doing supplementing like we have been with bottle feeding. But at this point, I just need a few scoops in here, give it a nice milky consistency because they're gonna be getting a lot of the nutrition out of the puppy food. And they're still, of course, nursing on Breezy. So this is just a little bit extra to help them out. So got basically you want that to be as close as possible to milk so that the transition goes very easily. Yes. Um, make sure I'm on all the way, get that blended up. Um, and the, make a mess. yeah, gosh. Um, and I wanted to note too, that this has got a very high fat content. So that warm water is really important for it to be able to blend up and, um, mix together easily. It won't do it in cold water. <gasps> Right out there, sir. <laughs> well, I had the lid on tight and now it's not. Well, we're gonna just finish this up here real quick. Okay. Milk replacer under pressure. Pops the lid right off there, sir. So now I have a little more of a mess to clean up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a fork so I don't get so messy doing this process. Since that's obviously uh been going good for me so far with making this puppy mush. So we're just blending it up. This will also let me know if I find a couple extra kibbles. I can pull those out. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Like I said, I want it to be pretty liquidy, so I'm gonna add a little more liquid. Um, I don't expect them to eat all of this. I expect to probably uh, get a few good laps and a good introduction. And then I'm gonna let Breezy Mama come in and help eat up the last of it. She can always use added food and nutrition. Um, she eats quite a bit at this point and drinks a lot of water, but having a little bit extra never is gonna hurt her. So, cause she is doing a lot to take care of this litter of puppies. Okay, so that's pretty dang liquidy especially on this side. So I'm going to just even that out, pull out my kibble. I'll put it in there for now. And then when I clean up the rest of the mess I made, I'll get rid of that too. So I'm going to take this over to the puppy box and I know you have to readjust lighting. So I will hold on when I get over there. So Ethan's got his lighting readjusted. I took a second to get a little bit of the puppy milk replacer off me, but I'm gonna just set this pan in here where it's nice and flat and then just wake these little sleepy guys up and put them around the pan. So sometimes their little, it's okay. Sometimes their little feet will go, or more than their little feet, because I picked her up and she's like, oh, I've been bottle fed. So she's looking for a bottle, which this is part of learning that, hey, it doesn't all come out of a bottle. <laughs> Little Twister said, oh, good, I've got this figured out. She's like, it's delicious. And now Blast has it figured out, but I'm gonna try not let her just lay completely in it. But Breezy will be able to come in after these guys have had an opportunity and clean up not only the leftover puppy mush, but the puppies too, cause they will need it. Okay guys, wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. This guy just rolled over upside down. Can you see him? He's like, I'm still snoozing. Oh, come on. Come on. Just a couple more wakey wakeys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just slide it a little bit more this way. Everybody has kind of nosedived it, literally in some cases. Uh, sometimes if you just get their little puppy paws in it, they'll be like, oh, wait, what is this? And then start licking their paws and go, oh, this is delicious. I can, I can get on board with this. Even Zephyr, who has a full belly, is enjoying a few little licks, which is a great first introduction to puppy mush, a very messy um, introduction to puppy mush, not only for the puppies, but for me today as well. So these guys are going to go ahead and work on this. I'm not going to take this away until we kind of see that they're about done. And then I'm gonna let Breezy in to clean up the rest and uh, clean up her puppies. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for following along with the puppy 
um, development series that we're doing with Breezy and Walker's litter. If you thought it was pretty funny how making puppy mush went for me today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, put it in the comments, and subscribe so you don't miss any more of these guys' development or any other situations that may arise in that process. I'm Kat the Dog Trainer. Thanks for watching. Thank you.